this market in like the macro environment of the world mm -hmm. and how uh, inflation and recession and just news headlines around the economy and mm -hmm. jobs and uh, the Fed rates hikes mm -hmm. would they do six or seven last year and there's yeah. a few more planned this year and all, all of that right like it's just like all of last year bombarding not not to mention war and and yeah. other things going on affecting all of this of yeah. you know which we're no experts but you know we're talking about it in the context of the church and how it's affecting people in the church and yeah. church leaders and all the things right um, yeah absolutely kind of a crazy time yeah, I mean, you know, I, I was, when I led a church, you know, 2000 was a pretty tough, I started my church in 96. Yeah. So the 2000.com was pretty, you know, that was three years of ugh, hell. And then in the middle was 9-11. So there was that. And then uh, 2008, I remember kind of posturing through that. And, you know, as a church leader, like you really just, your first place is to, go is the place of faith. You gotta, right. as people who believe and, um, and the Bible is very clear, and especially as leaders, right? I have a lot of church leaders, you know, listening to this. It says, you gotta go to faith first. And like in times of crisis, you know, church, sometimes churches grow because like people are afraid, right? You know, so they like, oh, they kind of get back to their faith a bit, but right. It's, it's an opportunity when things are going sideways that, that everyone is relying on the stock market and relying on, you know, stability and this. And really, I, we can only rely on God. God's the only stable thing that can get you through a yeah. moment like this. So yeah. that's the key. I was thinking about this as we were kind of just talking about doing a show. I mean, this might be the real, like the first real time, like as an adult, right? I'm, I'm almost 45, mm -hmm. I have three kids, married, own mm -hmm. a home. But like this time it feel it like, I think maybe I'm of a certain age where it's like yeah. more real or more, yeah. right. It's like more, you know, adulting is real and yeah. it's stuff like well, this. Your goes responsibilities on. like continue to grow as you get older. Yeah. Yeah. And, I think that's it. Right. Like with yeah. kids and the family yeah. being bigger and all that kind of stuff, it's like the responsibility factor is much higher. Right. Absolutely. And you just start to feel it differently. I remember in the late eighties in Australia, we had a very bad recession. Interest rate, the interest rate on my house went to 17%. That's so crazy. imagine that. <laughs> and I was like, I was like young dad and with right. young kids. So the, the, the cycles are always going to come and go. The hard thing is, if, and there's going to be a lot of people like thinking, like you just said, this is their first, cause we've had growing markets, expanding economies, right. you know, pretty much for 10, 11 years. I mean, Australia hadn't had a recession for 24 years. Right. Until COVID, right? So, you know, we've just had a global expansion, the economy's booming, COVID did all kinds of crazy. The first two months were like, oh, the whole world's falling apart. And then it, it, it you know, exploded yeah. this massive boom for right. especially digital companies. So it's, it's a different, different mindset, different behavior. You know, we've talked about kind of last year as, as a business, we, you know, we just could see things coming and, you know, we read stuff and you listen to smart people and you're, you kind of, and everyone's screaming it now, there's a big recession coming. So right. just for a church leader, like just thinking about your budget for 2023, you know, to to probably be a little bit conservative doesn't mean you can't live in faith and trust God and all the things, but you got to put, you know, budgeting and economics and run your church as a business would. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's probably, probably time to just be a little conservative, I would think, financially yeah. for, for our talking to our customers, you know, right. I was talking with a friend. Um, he's kind of the director of finance XP kind of type at his church. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, what do you, you know, like, how are you thinking about, right? Number one, I was like, did 2022 with all the economic kind of headlines and like the, the market is down right. like crazy and, and that can affect people's giving. I was like, was it's giving down in 22. And he was like, no, it actually was up over what we thought it would be. Right. Right. Um, surprisingly. And he's like, you know, we're, we're kind of going into 23 with, you know, our plan to keep growing, but, mm -hmm. but with like a kind of contingency plan, right. If, if things start to turn and it's a multi-site kind of church or multi-location. So they're kind of mm -hmm. going each location 
you know, if things kind of don't look good over here, here's the plan or over there, like in location A or location B or location C. Like, right. um, so he definitely was like thinking like, Hey, keep it going, but you don't know. And so yeah. have a, have a plan for the downside. Yeah. Um, yeah which I thought was really smart. I mean, that's, you know, you try to, um, live off 80%, you know, give 10%, kind of save 10% that, you know, if you, that's hard to do if you're yeah. on fixed income, but also if you're teaching, you know, a teaching pastor, you, you have to preach faith and trust in God. It's a good opportunity for people to lean back on their faith, discover right. their faith, but you got to preach like, sermons that are faith building. So right. that's, that's the opportunity. I think as the world goes and, you know, going to be pretty lumpy here economically, perhaps for a year or two, just get, use it to get everyone back on track and uh, focusing on God. You think 2008, um, 9 11, was there, was there any sermons that you preached that you're like, of uh, or, or I don't know, themes yeah. of sermons other than faith, like, okay, great. Like be hopeful, be faithful. But can you think of any that you were like these ones? I remember getting great responses to, or really helped people. I remember like, I would always try to in the, certainly in the final kind of third of a message, like, you know, whatever topic I'm talking on, if I was expositing some, you know, verses or whatever, but I just, you know, I turned people's, you know, face towards true North yeah. trusting God. Um, God doesn't let us down. He's faithful. Those last, you know, few minutes are just realigning, you know, our thoughts around trusting God and, yeah. and you know, living living by faith in, in in Him. So it didn't matter almost what I taught. It was always back to that. Bringing bringing that back. Yeah. I mean, it's a crazy time. I I, I wonder how many churches are going to kind of, I don't know, address this stuff head on. Well, that's in, the in that's the, the point. That yeah. that's the difference. You know, there's there's Churches that, when it comes to leadership, there's church leaders that are very aggressive on how they approach, you know, certain moments in history and how they think they should be channeling what the Bible says about particular things and in moments. And, and you know, there's other church and there's other denominations that have a set calendar, right? And they kind of meticulously go through the calendar. Yeah. So it's all different different strokes out there, but my default for, especially when times are tough is strong leadership. Like that's, that's what you just have to default there as a leader. Right. And, and everyone's looking at you and it's hard because you don't want to be faking it. But even if you're worried, <laughs> you've got to have an outlet to go and talk to someone about that, but not, not your congregation, right. <laughs> From the pulpit. Yeah. Um, you just got to appear and look and be very resolute and strong. Right. And, uh, focused on your direction and that's what people follow in any time that's important but in in what potentially is going to be a tough year or two even right. more important it, it also makes me just think of like giving right like yep. because you know like i think not everybody there's going to be pockets and it depends on people's situation but i there's going to be plenty of people in churches that you know gas prices Mm -hmm. food, you know, mm -hmm. just cost of living, right? Just the basic right. stuff, rents, absolutely. even just rents yeah. going up, like yeah, absolutely. things are more expensive and yep. the job market's strong, but salaries aren't necessarily keeping up with inflation. But if it keeps going, then a year from now, people are really going to be feeling it. So, you know, I think, so that's, that's, that's all coming. So yeah, I think talking about budgeting and finance is even more important now. Yeah. You know, we we're proponents of that anyway, obviously, but um, that should be, you know, teaching people how to practically manage and, you know, and honor God with their money, even mm -hmm. through a tough time is really mm -hmm. important. So that takes, that takes it even more boldness and leadership right. to talk about, you know, money and economics in people's lives in a tough time, but you yeah. got to do it. But um, it's also very helpful, you know, if the yeah. church is providing that, like the church doesn't necessarily have to be that resource, but for those who, who can, right. If you can be that resource, that's helping, you know, your members kind of be responsible financially and giving them tools and resources and budgeting. And I mean, that's Ramsey in a nutshell, right. Yeah. But there's lots of that out there. I downloaded the rocket mortgage, um, app and like a lot of apps do this now, banking apps yeah. where you, you hook up through plaid and get all your spending. And one, I like to experience how they work. Yeah. Right? Cause that's our business a bit. 
but also it, it, they're cool tools, you know? Right. So it's good to, good to see what's going on. And you, yeah. you must have a dashboard. You can't drive a car without knowing what's going on. And you've got to have one of those for your, your money. Yeah. As, as do church leaders need like a dashboard for their money. So they see where it's going and, right. and where to spend it and where not to spend it and all that yeah. good stuff. So common sense. We, I've used Mint for yeah, yeah. I used, ages. I was a Mint user for ages. I mean. Yeah. Mint has been great for us. So over the yeah. last, you know, I don't know, call it six months as the world is doing what it's doing. We're like, okay, let's just go back to the budget. Let's mm -hmm. make sure that we're, you know, course correcting right where we need to and being mindful yeah. about, yeah, eating out or the grocery bill or entertainment. But being mindful of that stuff, right? I think everybody uh, should be mindful of that stuff. Like no matter what's going on, but certainly in a time like this, when other things are getting more expensive, like you can control certain things, yep. but like having the tool that shows you how you're spending and then living on that budget. Um, is I had this? two premium YouTube accounts <laughs> that I didn't know about. This is what got me on this. It's like, oh, know all your subscriptions, right? Yeah. And like, I'm terrible at all that. Right. So that was 20 bucks. I probably saved a hundred bucks a month. Yeah. Just in that five minutes, you, know? you got to pay attention in these kind of times, helping your church, like as a pastor, kind of circling back to that, like helping your yeah. church, think about these things, t have a place to talk about them. If you're feeling this stuff, like, yeah. you know, you got church members from all walks of life. So being able to like go through it with them and help them. Um, and then even like talking about like giving and generosity, like that's a whole mm -hmm. nother layer to this in yeah. this environment. Like, how do you do that? Well, yep. and, and, yep boldly with faith and you know like it's a whole head on as 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 usual the way we like to think about it i mean it's kind of a crazy topic we're by no means experts but we know church leaders are going through it or feeling it or thinking about it um yeah so if you if you guys have questions or uh i don't know we could even bring on some some yeah. uh kind of industry people to talk about this topic but if you have questions post them in the comments or yeah let us know. Let us know on the social medias and uh, we'll be back next week with another episode. Love it. See you, everyone. See you guys.